Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to a little program called Nebo, and I've had Nebo for a long time and have not used it uh, for a couple different reasons, and they've recently made some changes to it to allow just to have a lot more input methods. And in the past, Nebo only allowed users to input with a stylus. That's it. And if you were using a stylus, uh, or if you tried to use a keyboard, it just would not accept keyboard input, and that just was so frustrating for me. They have recently added uh, keyboard support, and with the addition of the new click location function in Tablet Pro, which means that if I if I want one of these buttons over here to click some location, because th these are not keyboard shortcuts right here, but if I want to switch to green or red or gray, I can do that by setting and defining the position for this to click, and that's not too difficult to do. It's actually quite easy. So I want to talk about uh, a project that I want to do, and I'm looking for some developers to do this project with me. Before I get into the details of the project that I want to start, uh, I want to show you what Nebo does because I think they do a fantastic job, and I think this implementation is what we really need as the next step in um, how tablets are used. All right, so here we're going to just write real quickly. Now, that's really sloppy, and you can see it did a perfect job of not only converting it into text, but doing it in a real-time uh, process, which is really what I want. Uh, I don't want to see it come up here afterwards. So one of the things I really like about it is also that it does uh, multi-language support, so I can write in Japanese. You can see it's done a fantastic job of translating into uh, Japanese from there, which is great. I don't know of anything else that does this type of translation just with handwriting. So this is super cool. And now I want to go into the project that I'm, I'm hoping to build uh, with the help of another developer. All right, so my script, the company that makes Nebo, has APIs available so that we can use their script to text, their handwriting to text conversion engine. And they can do math and symbols and other things as well, which is really cool. But really, the primary purpose, what I'm thinking, is uh, that I want to be able to write inside of all sorts of um, dialog boxes and input fields, kind of the way that I think Microsoft is trying to get here, but I don't like the imp implementation yet, and I think that we can do better. So what we would do is, let's say we have a, um, okay, let's add a diagram box. All right, so we have here, we have an input field, we have a little cursor. Okay, and so we want to input text into this section here, it's asking for our name. And so up here, let's write our name. And um, so that copies this here. So what I want it to do is I want to be able to press a, a button here on the side. While I'm holding a button, I could write directly over this field, but let's say I just want to write in the middle of the screen. So I write my name. And uh, I want it to appear here. So I'm just going to hold my pen tip here. And when I release the cursor, it inputs my name into the field, or inputs the text into the field. The other implementation of this that I really, really like, uh, and this leads me to believe that Microsoft has an API that we might be able to access, is in uh, Microsoft To-Do. Um, That's fantastic, and I really like this, and I want to see this everywhere in Windows. Um, so that process uh, with a transparent overlay and then finding the position of the pointer or the pen and then uh, pasting the text that we copied in the 
um, overlay into that field, I really think is a process that could be made uh, to be really seamless and really quick. And so that, I, I'm not sure if that's clear enough, but that process, uh, I'm thinking, you know, of artists who are in Photoshop and they want to write, um, you know, so this is, there's another box here. And uh, we want to put a name in this field right here. And so we, let's say we were drawing a shirt and we want to say red shirt and have this convert directly into text that goes into that field without us having to open up a panel and do all sorts of extra steps. So that's, that's the concept. That's what I'm looking to do. Um, that is step one. Uh, step two on this idea is I want to uh, develop an engine that will do, not develop an engine, I'm sorry, take advantage of the engine, and then this process to do text expansion with handwriting. So there's a couple interesting aspects to this idea. Um, right now, if I write TP, this will expand out into Tablet Pro using Keypress OSD, which is uh, one of the apps that we make. So Keypress OSD will expand this out into Tablet Pro. If I want to do my email, I'll write EML, and that will expand out into one of my emails. Okay, so with handwriting, I think that this is a natural progression. So I should be able to write a short, um, so the same thing, email, sig, you know, whatever it is to expand out into my signature and have this expand out into my signature in my handwriting. Now I would be okay, I'd be happy if this just expanded out into text. So instead of being in, in uh, handwriting, it, it expands out and it's in uh, text, that would be totally fine. That would be super useful and I could use that inside of all sorts of different programs. But to get it to this stage, we need something like this MyScript engine that's doing the real-time conversion so that you could do something like um, press a button over here that expands it. Uh, we use space, the space bar to expand our, um, our text snippets. And so you could have something where you type or you write SIG and then you hit a space bar button over here and the combination of those two things, those working in, um, those working together <laughs> uh, would uh, l allow us to expand text in or um, handwriting into text expansion snippets. The idea of it being in our handwriting is so that if we're taking notes that everything looks cohesive. And uh, the advanced version of that would be that it would just sample our handwriting as we're writing. It would have us write a couple sentences and use um, you know some artificial intelligence to crop the lettering that we use. You know, so we wrote uh, whatever that sentence is that has all the letters in it, or it has us write out a few paragraphs and samples our, our handwriting and then creates a font based on our personal handwriting and then expands our handwritten text into that font and into the snippet that we're looking to expand it to. That is the big goal. And um, I think that would be amazing and I would use that all the time. And I think there's a lot of people who take handwritten notes that would it would be like magic. So this is the idea. Uh, this is Nebo. Nebo can be found in the Windows Store. Uh, it's a great app. I really like it. Uh, I think it needs some work and some modifications in order for it to compete with uh, OneNote, which is my favorite one. They need a dark mode. And there's like a couple little things that these guys, uh, I would like for them to do to make it more useful for me. Um, just so you can see here, I have Chinese, Japanese, and then uh, just the welcome one, and they have different templates. Uh, let me show you something really cool. So go right back in here. So we're going to add uh, right down here a math. And it'll do the math for you right here, and it, it accepts uh, really complex math equations as well. And <laughs> that's really nice. That's how I think this type of thing should work. I just think it should be system-wide. So if you're a developer and you're interested in doing this type of thing with me, um, please let me know. And uh, 
put comments about this idea if you want to talk about how this should work and, and different aspects or, or features that it should have. Put it in the description because I'd like to have a big discussion about this so that when we do make this tool, we're making it so that it does meet the needs of people in an intelligent way, not just kind of a generic, let's see what sticks type of way. I want to get feedback and I want to get information before we start this project so that we uh, nail it on the head. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And until next time, stay creative.